Welcome back to episode three of Wales Women Football Stars. Today I'm joined by Fionn Morgan. Hi Fionn, you all right? I'm good, thank you Matt. Thank, thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. No problem. So you're spending a lot down with your family in West Wales. Um, how have you found it in terms of keeping your fitness up and not falling out with them? Um, me and my family, we don't fall out. We've got a good tight-knit group here. They're literally my best friends. Um, so lockdown hasn't actually been that bad and I've been busy working with them, um, with my father. Um, so it hasn't actually been that bad um, considering I've been stuck in the house for the last four months with them. Um, but motivation-wise to like, running and getting out and fitness and with the weather sometimes it's like oh do I want to do it but obviously I have to do it um so that's been a struggle really um because I, I work well like competition wise and like when I'm running with a squad I use that as like a competition um so because I haven't had that um it has been a struggle to get up and do a workout before I start my like working day um but it hasn't been that bad we're still working we're still doing it um so yeah, but it has been tough, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. And you're with Coventry at the moment. Um, how far do you think you can go in red and green? Do you think you'll end up playing Super League football? Um, that's where I wanna end up. I obviously wanna be the best of the best eventually. Um, that's with Wales and with um, career-wise and club-wise. Um, so I do wanna be playing in the WSL um, one. Um, but when that'll come, I don't know. I'm just working hard. Right now, uh, everywhere I'm going, I'm hoping that someone notices me and then hopefully I'll get the chance one day, yeah. And how good is it, good is it to play along the likes of Helen Ward and Lauren Dykes, those that you once aspired to be like? Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. Like, they're, they're great with us as well, like the younger girls coming through. Um, like, learning from them, like the likes of Sophie Ingle, Tash, the ones who've literally been through it all. Um, Playing alongside them is kind of surreal sometimes, um, but it's great. It's, it's the little things that they teach you um, and that you can just watch them and you can learn so much from just doing that. Um, so I'm really lucky that I get the opportunity to be able to train with them and play with them um, so then I can learn from them. Because hopefully when once they go, I'll, me and the girls my age will be the ones who take their place as such. And you have your own family YouTube channel, The Morgans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry? How did that come about? Um, like I said, me and my family like very close. It was very tight knit, like best friends. Um, and I used to actually record my family all the time and I used to post it on social media and people were like, Oh my gosh, your family, they seem so amazing, like they seem so nice. Um, so we were like, Well, why not? Let's start a YouTube channel. So we we went um to Cyprus. This was like our first vlog. Um and we were like, let's just record it. Why not? Let's just try it, see how it turns out. Um, and then we watched it through and we were like, actually, this, is, this isn't that bad. So we put it out and then like, we had like over a thousand views in the first day. So then we were like, well, let's just keep this going and see how long we can go for. And since then, we've been doing a video every single week. So yeah, it has been a lot sometimes. It's like, oh my gosh, like another video. Uh, so we've done over like 60 videos which is insane, um, but we're really enjoying it and people are loving it and people are enjoying the videos. So we've kept doing it, yeah. And is football still your first love or is YouTube kind of... Yeah, no, 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 no. Way? Football's definitely where I want to go. Like I've, since I've been a kid, since I've started playing, I've always wanted that dream um, and I'm still working towards that and getting there, like playing in the WSL1 and being the best I can be as a football player. Um, that is the dream and that's that will always be the dream for me from when I was four years old to now when I'm 20. Yeah, it's exactly the same. And alongside that platform, you have your UA for B licence. How mm -hmm. do you plan to use both those to grow the game in the future? Um, coaching wise, I want to do that after my career, uh, kind of similar to um, what Lauren Dykes has started doing. Lauren Dykes, like towards her end of the end of her career because she she's obviously planning yeah, on retirement yeah. soon um she started coaching like the younger girls the under 15s and that and that's the path I want to go down really I want to grow the game the younger girls 
Um, so I'm not sure if you're aware, but I was um, the Welsh football ambassador last year for West Wales um, area. Obviously, I couldn't do it this year um, because I was playing for Cobb, so I couldn't with travelling and stuff, and I was all over the place, um, which I was really gutted about because I, I love children. I love growing the game, especially in my area, which I got the chance to do, which I'm so grateful for. Um, but yeah, that's what I want to do, really. I just want to give back. And I love football. I love coaching. I love learning about football. Um, so when the opportunity came about to do the UA for B, I jumped at the chance and hopefully I'll be able to use that now um, for when, after my career or during, if I do get the opportunity like Lauren has. My name's Matt Slater from Sport and Ferret. Thank you for joining me today on this episode of Wales Women Football Stars. Come back next week where I'll be interviewing another Welsh international.